Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about getting started with the Cucumber framework with setup of Cucumber framework with WebDriver IO. How we can able to set up with the Cucumber framework and basic information because I already explained like how we can able to create a Cucumber for why Cucumber framework. Everything I explained to my previous videos which is like a selenium with java and python and cypress the, those languages also i explain the same concept okay for that i'm just i'm going to give you some overview okay cucumba is basically the name bdd okay bdd is nothing but a behavior driven development the name is full form is behavior driven development okay it is a extension of ttd extension of ttd what ttd is means test and driven and development okay basically a bdd they developed by using ttd only because first before bdd there is a ttd is present in that functionality they just some they took some concepts and after that they develop for BDD framework for testing side to give the more flexible to everyone stakeholders and everybody can able to understand what exactly we are going to do what is the main advantage for this BDD a simple way we can able to say it's a simple English language simple English language means just you can write what exactly that particular line says like if you are going to make it this is a login page means you are going to make some login page to display in that particular action place and providing for a valid username and password then what that line says the user is going to providing for valid username and password into a login page location okay and is going to do for and next step is going to say that verifying that home page after login into a page then we can able to say there we are going to verify some login verification these are the step is a simple right anybody can able to understand if you are going for java some other languages any other languages if somebody write the code a stockholders or some other member non technical member cannot able to understand what you are going to write in a, inside the function or method what exactly you are going to write something information inside that what type of action you are going to perform they don't know but if you make the pass then they believe that you done for actions but if you create a step which is understandable for any other member then they can know come to you did you done the exactly this is the action like that they can able to come up with you and what are the things you done for based upon your development in the manual test cases same thing uh, you covered inside the automation or not they can able to understand for you okay this is a main advantage easy language anybody can able to understand basic advantage is things like all the project who all are presented all the members stakeholders and everybody into a same page means same page is not the same thing like everybody can able to understand your purpose this is basically written a gherkin language this is the main part gherkin gherkin is nothing but a simple language every team member can able to participate in the test creation and as the same how they can able to create and everything they can make it and one more main advantage is like there is a new module is coming to you your project okay but you don't know what type of functionality but you know the scenario what are the scenarios they are going to cover then you can able to create one scenario inside the future before they coming uh, develop and giving to us before we can able to create the steps a steps we can able to create we can make it to every time pass for that particular scenario once they develop and once they provide to us then we can able to reimplement in that dummy steps to main execution and we can able to push into the gate like that we can able to reduce our time this is a very most important point okay that is a very most important point how this particular future file can contains the every future file it is make it as a future is the first step a future is says that 
what type of actions you are going to do in this particular file anything if you are going to log in validation then you are going to creating for login validation scenarios inside the this particular file then you need to make it for scenario 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 is nothing but what type of test case you are going to create whenever you take the any story and we need to create for positive and negative both the combinations right positive case we are make it for one test case and negative case and each negative case we are going to create for separate separate test cases right for that indication this is a scenario if you are making for a valid username and password this is a one scenario and scenario scenario one this is the above is the one and below is the two then here we can go into for valid username but invalid password like this we can able and scenario three says that invalid username and valid password like this we can able to create for test case in a future file we can create for n number of scenarios in one future file n number of scenarios we can able to create we can able to run for single future file or single scenario okay even we can able to create for tag based creation tag based how we can able to run those all the things will come into the next video session okay now this is the way we can able to create for geek language this is a simple language we are going to create for inside that a given a when and then okay these are the thing and also if you have additional concept additional steps then you can able to use for and and is that like any additional condition if you want to do some certain operations which is not covered in a when then place you can able to use for anything if you are make it for valid username and password okay but you are not mention force click on submit button you can able to use for and click on submit submit button like that we can able to create for additional step for that okay and also it is a one kind of additional step okay this all the way we can able to create for our future and now i'm going to create for one file here web driver io underscore cucumber okay now this is my folder i'm going to open for my visual studio code editor i'll open for my file where exactly here here yeah. okay now i'll take for my terminal now now i'm going to set up in for my cucumber framework into my web driver i will okay for this first we need to use for npm init iphone y to get for my package okay now my package is coming to here and then now i want to create uh, i want to set up for my web driver i will i need to use for npm init wdio if i mention now wdio that is called web driver io okay now it will give and it will start for installation here you can see everything it will start this is a robotic framework type and you can able to start it here installation will be start once we get the step by step we'll install now okay in the page object model i also i showed into my last video okay the page object model how we can able to do it okay similar format we are going to do for cucumber as well now it is accessed installation now you can able to see this is a package a project name is find out in this particular location and you can make it for y and enter and here you can able to make it for enter local only i'm going to take and my local machine only and here you can able to mobile testing phone no 
okay which type of uh, framework you want we need for cucumber and you need to uh, down arrow and choose the cucumber then enter and here again enter and here we can able to web driver over yes if you make it for y or directly enter anything is okay now i make it for directly enter okay again here also enter enter and enter enter because here it is the particular location page object model it is displaying here and here you can able to future file it is coming to in this particular file location okay now i make it for enter and you can able to spec you can and here we can able to await wait for spacebar is the one to selecting that particular element and enter and cucumber uh, like uh, chrome browser is first option i'm going to choose for one browser that i'm going directly local yes enter yes if you mention it will start for installation now you can see all the things packages and everything started to here and even you can able to see all node underscore modules are coming to the picture here now it will take some couple of minutes to complete okay little bit wait and we can do it for now now you can see here there are three folders are there after installation you can able to see one more future folder is coming to here okay in the new future you can see future expanding page object model here okay there is a pages are there and if you go for step definition there is a steps folder file now you can see all the steps are presented here what exactly we are going to do all the step step by step it is presented await page and page open and login page dot login and which is a username password and you can able to if you click this particular function it will go for login page location you can see here there is a login page and here the, all the things are presented you can create n number of things from here okay now you can see this is my feature file and it is given by default scenario outline because we chose for to create for one sample code itself that's why it is given for this particular sample code okay and if you are getting uh, maybe you will not get for this one when you are going to installing okay for that you have to add for plugins this is the symbol it is there right there is a symbol you have to click and here you need to install for cucumber if you search cucumber it will provide for all the things i stored this one okay but even you can able to try this particular one cucumber jack kerkin full snapshot this also it will work and this also this is having some issue uh, whenever you install it is not proper installing i'm trying for all a couple of ways in case if i get the more information about this particular one i'll uh, make it for another video for this okay this is the one having for more advantages but uh, now it is not working for me i'll try for any other possibilities and i'll get back to you this one or this one i'm going to take this is a okay and here even we can able to run for tag base and scenario outlines and everything it will provide okay and this all the functions it will provide that's why i'm going to take this particular one future syntax highlighted and snapshot cucumber gherkin language okay this is the one i took okay once you add it then you will get it for like this colors otherwise you will not get it it's a plain text format it will be displayed okay and after that we can run sample now for sample running for entire future which is the future is presented for then we can able to use for npx space wdio space for and enter once you make the enter it will run for your particular for 
what all the future files are presented that all the future files it will be run execution of one worker started for here one minute okay this is a browser version i'm updating for my browser version It will take a couple of minutes. Updating Chrome hundred percent. Now relaunching my browser. Now we'll try one more time. Okay, something problem here. Okay, I'll uh, make something result. Okay, uh, next video session time I will run for this particular feature and I'll show you. Okay, installation and everything similar format. Remaining things I will explain you. Okay, I'll explain you for remaining concepts like how we can able to run and how we can able to get everything. I'll explain you one more time. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.